Hello, everyone. This is Jonathan Riley from, you guessed it, MaximalExposure.net, where we, you guessed it again, provide online promotions for small businesses. And today's topic is, as you can see, should you have a business partner? What's better, an LLC or a sole proprietorship? Now, if you have an idea and you know someone, whether they're a friend or an acquaintance that shares the, sh the same ambition to open a business and and get things going, if that business partner has all the money, then by all means, if that's the only way you can get your business off the ground, partner up with this individual. Um, if any other circumstances dictate that this partner or future partner has some type of advantage like money, like he, he, like he's the one that has all the ideas and he's the one that has all the money, he just wants you to bring you along to sharing the risk and the work, then by all means, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? But uh, I want to give you my opinion based on experiences of, uh, of if I would take on a business partner or not. And first, I want to tell you a quick story. Um, me and a buddy of mine opened a I did I did a contract on general contract on work for a number of years, about six years. So. Uh, me and a buddy of mine decided to open a contracting firm. And we went through the whole nine yards. Uh, we, 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 well, I wrote a business plan. And um, I was the brains. He was the, the, the money. I wrote up the business plan. I split it into two sectors. I would handle the employees. He would handle the payroll and the, uh, the other business and business, uh, the other end that has to do with business, uh, contracts and so forth. And like I said, I would handle the employees. I would handle the super supervision of the jobs. Um, I would make, I would do the estimates. I would do the dirty work basically, but we, we would share the profits 50, 50. And we wrote up a contract saying as such, we, we did everything to the letter, totally legal, went down to the DCA department of consumer affairs, took the contracting test. I mean, we did everything. We, we dotted our I's and crossed the T's. Uh, this guy, he, very, very smart guy. He happened to be a manager at, at Citibank. Uh, and me, I was just naturally talented at doing these type of types of things. Uh, went to a junior college, did not graduate. I was, I, I, I am just naturally, I just naturally have a knack for business. And he recognized that. So we start this, the, the contract, the firm, uh, we had the business, business cards. We had the brochures. We had the website. I mean, we did everything right. Lo and behold, we, um, we get our first call for a job. And let me tell you something for those of you that have not experienced this yet. When you, once you open a business and you get that first call for a person that uh, found you in some type of way and gave you a call. And as a matter of fact, uh, she found us on Craigslist, believe it or not. We advertise on Craig, Craig's, our services on Craigslist as well, among many other uh, social media sites. And uh, she said, uh, you know, she had this big uh, apartment building and. Long story short, I, I went to go do the estimate and, uh, things w went well. I uh, came back to the guy and 
Well, with, with that, she she ended up going with another contracting firm. She, so we did not get that job. But I just told you that to let you know that things were moving along well. We got other roof, uh, other jobs like roofing jobs and you know uh, basement jobs and things of that nature. One day, me and my business business partner got into an argument. Not that had nothing to do with the business that had absolutely nothing to do with what we were trying to accomplish in this endeavor. This was seven, eight years ago. This was nearly 10 years ago. And I have never spoken to the guy since. Um, it was not a particularly vicious argument because him and I don't have that type of temperament to where we would come to blows or anything like that. We are more of intellectuals. Our mind, we use our minds instead of our fists. So we had this argument, big disagreement, uh, I couldn't even I couldn't even tell you what it was it was about, but the point is we got into an argument and severed our relationship. And once we severed our relationship, we severed our business ties as well. Now since he was the bank, since he was the bank role. I could not go off by myself and carry on with this business because he was not only the bankroll, he took care of the, uh, the, the business and like uh, payroll and things of that nature because he had the, at the time, he had more capabilities than I. He, he had the software, uh, he had the workstation that I was using, using things like that. I was the, I was the innovator. I was the people person. I was the, the idea man I, 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 I was the 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 other half the other half of the yang so of course we needed each other and once we parted ways the business i assumed i assumed dissolved i mean we never like i said we never talked we never you know I, I I have not to this day seen him, seen him since that day, and we were very close. I had the key to his house uh, while he went to work at a uh, city group, <clears throat> and on my days off off from school, I had a key to his home. I I would go over there, finish up the business plan plan using his uh, computer and his resources and his uh, phone and things of that nature to you know, put the finishing touches on whatever needed to be done, cross the, di- uh, cross the T's, dotted the I's for uh, the business on every as on every level, me. Now, that's one story for one man for one business. And I know that there are many other people that actually get along and complete the the uh process of building a business and 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 things go rather well well let me tell you something that's that's rare because one i don't care how good of friends you are there, there's going to be arguments and there's going to be disagreements. If you go into a business with someone, there has to be a set leader. And there was in, the, in my case that I, I was uh, in the contract. I was uh, he could not hire or fire any of uh, our subcontractors or the people that was working for us. But I could. 
And in turn, I could not control or uh, do any any um, finagling within the business, within his realm of the business. Even if you have those clear, uh, concise rules set, other things can, other things can creep into that mold that will tear you two apart. Even if you're making money, even if, even if you're somewhat successful in what you're doing. And you might be in a in an involved in an LLC right now. You might have a partner right now, and everything may be going great. But like I said, those types of situations are rare. And that's why I think it is always, always better if you can to go into business by yourself. There's nothing like a sole proprietorship. Uh, I I have another business, Maximal Exposure. Everything's going great. The buck stops here. I have no partner. I have more of responsibility, of course, but I can handle it. Um, everything goes through me. There is no one to argue argue with but myself. There is no one to make a contract with but myself. There was no, there is no one that can hire and fire. But me, there's no one that can deal with the books but me. And I and I like it like that. I love it like this. And that's not any form of of, uh, flattery or pretentiousness. It's just how I feel after experiencing what I went through with a business partner. Now. As the as maximal exposure grows and things go on, the I may hire a manager to take care of some of the responsibilities, but I will never take on a, 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 a an equal business partner. I, I will hire a manager to take on some of the responsibilities and pay him to manage what I no longer want to do or no longer have time for. And that is the closest thing I will ever come to having another partner. But if you are starting out in a business and it's a couple of you guys, by by all means, give it a shot. Because like I said, I'm one, this is one man's story, one company, one incident. But if you have a business partner, You're going to have to not only work hard at uh, getting the business successful, but you're going to have to humble yourself. You're going to have to make sure no friction comes in between you two. And with human beings, that's nearly impossible. So I'm giving you I'm giving you the advice today. If it is possible, start a sole proprietorship. Do not get into a partnership. If the situation dictates that you're financially and ideally, I in a, as far as uh, you come up with the innovations and you're smart enough to do all of the uh, online work and and if you're intelligent enough to handle that and. You put up the uh, money by yourself, maybe not as much money as the guy that you're going into business with can put up, but you can still go off by yourself um, because of how social media is running nowadays. And and, and just one other thing, this guy, he, I, we had, like I said, we set up the business, we had everything set up 
And I said, okay, now we got everything. We have the insurance for our workers. Now it's time to advertise. And he disagreed with that. He, he's like, no, we're not going to advertise. I'm, I'm like, what are you talking? I mean, it was, he had no, he had, he had no, he did not have what I have. And we all know what that is. You have to advertise, you have to market, you have to put yourself out there. So I actually had to go behind this guy's back to advertise. I don't know whether he was scared of success. I don't know. I mean, what do we, I'm, I'm asking this guy because like I said, he was the billfold. So we needed an advertising budget. So I wanted money from him to begin our advertising campaigns. Not just business cards and flyers, but a more robust advertising uh, budget that he could afford. He could afford. But um, if at all possible, it is best for you. If possible, if at all possible, it is best for you, in my opinion, to have a sole proprietorship to be your own boss, not to have a business partner. And that's not to, not to say that business partners are not successful because some of them are, but most aren't. That's the reason why there's only one president of the United States. There's only there's only uh, one CEO, there's only one pr uh, president, there's only one chief, there's only one captain. And I, I, I will never um, try to go into business with anyone again, having equal powers, no matter how intelligently we divide up the, the authority. And that's my advice to you. If, 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 if possible, if humanly possible, if even if there is a small window, a small thread of possibility, go with go with the sole proprietorship and 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 be where the buck stops. And that's my opinion on. Uh, sole proprietorship versus a uh, versus a firm or uh, or an or an LLC this has been Jonathan Riley from maximalexposure.net where we provide online services for small businesses and I will talk to you guys in the next upload see ya